12 years later, not yet 35 years old, you were president and a member of the board, and in 1977, you succeeded founder Ray Kroc as chairman and CEO of the corporation. When you joined McDonald's, the Golden Arches looped over 14 restaurants, all in the United States. Today, billions of burgers later, there are more than 31,000 McDonald's in 118 countries, and sales exceed $46 billion a year. This is your creation. From the first, you set strict standards of quality, service, and cleanliness. Your 1958 manual prescribing meticulous and exacting operations for every McDonald's restaurant is still in use today. And Hamburger University, which you established in 1961 with 15 students, today teaches all aspects of the McDonald's business operations, finance, and always important to you, customer satisfaction to 9,000 students on six campuses worldwide. Your, your alma mater gave you an honorary degree. Advertising Age hailed you as ad man of the 1980s. Financial World named you hospitality industry CEO of the decade. And in 1991, together with legendary SEGEP Foundation leader Jim Clayton, you received the Horatio Alger Award, testifying that you embody and represent the American dream. You created the success story called McDonald's. You invented Chicken McNuggets. Your late wife named the Egg McMuffin. You added Big, Big Mac to the dictionary. Your genius brought affordable, reliable restaurants to people around the world, and you redefined our national dish, the hamburger. Tonight, with greatest pride, we salute one of the creative geniuses in American business history, Brother Fred Turner, with the Sigma Phi Epsilon Citation. Well, that's quite an introduction. I have to thank Archie and Jeff. And you know, I see a lot of successful people out here. We fought our fights in business. We came up together. And you, you young guys, look what could happen to you. You could be like me. You could be working for a clown. <laughs> Although you probably are. <laughs> Congratulations, SIGAP Richmond. You're going to be commended for the meaningful impact you make on the lives of thousands of brothers. While I was at Drake, I never imagined that 50 years later, I'd be joining this celebration of our 50th Grand Conclave and receiving this award. Nor could I have imagined that 50 years later, I'd be celebrating the 50th anniversary of the birthday of McDonald's, which barely existed when I was in college. So we've come a long way. At SIGEP, you make friends. To me, friends like Bob Ray. Bob started with one McDonald's in Ohio and later grew that to eight. He was later tapped to be our joint venture partner in England and ended up selling his 45% for a lot of money. In, I, in 1996, the SIGEP Iowa Delta chapter came apart at the seams and it was forced to close and leave campus. An embarrassment? You bet. But brothers Rod Rhodes and Gary Ordway led the charge. Marshall University Communication collaborated with the alumni, raised funds, and by 2000, they reestablished our chapter house. It was no small task. They started with 14 members in 2000, and today it's 92 strong, seven of which are here. You should know SIGEP has the highest GPA of all fraternities on campus, and SIGEP is the only house that left the campus and was invited back. Something very serious. It's important to report to you that Rod Rhodes firmly believes 
and predicts that houses that are wet will not survive. To me, that's significant because of his intense involvement, his credibility, his dedication. It's his prediction. I feel I should report it to you. I'm not carrying nation. I'm not carrying anyone else's baggage. But I think this is so significant that this man, who has spent almost his entire life, I mean his entire life, wrapped up in SIGUP in the most meaningful way, that he's reached that conclusion. Wow, that's a freight train. So how did these guys get us back on track? On-site supervision, alumni, leadership, no alcohol, no smoking, but it'd be tough for me, requiring a 275 GPA and participating in community affairs. Rod believes there is a correlation between dry houses and higher GPAs. Well, that makes sense to everybody. In Iowa, Delta SIGEPs still know how to party and can find a six pack. It's all about striking a balance. I know I partied with them. <laughs> a few words for the, under, for the undergrads. One of the most important character traits you'll find in successful people is persistence. Our founder, Ray Kroc, really connected with President Calvin Coolidge's take on persistence. Nothing in the world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination alone are what makes the difference. What Rod and Gary did for SIGEP and Iowa Delta personifies persistence. We're winding down. Roots and wings. For the undergrads. The greatest gift we can give our descendants is roots and wings. The greatest gift we can give our descendants is roots and wings. SIGEP is an important part of your roots. Your roots are the mosaic of who you are. It's the influence of your mother and father and your family. Roots are your value system, your character, your trustworthiness, your honesty, your perseverance, your integrity. Your, de your dedication and determination. Your roots are what keeps you grounded through tough times and what allows you to fly further maybe than you perhaps thought possible. Technology has soared and that's providing us with wings beyond our wildest imagination to be continued. It's all well and good, but roots provide the balance you will need in your personal life. We become a high-tech and low-touch culture, and there needs to be balance. We can never forget the human factor. And as a closing bit of advice, I'll leave you with this. Find a job that you love, and you'll never work a day in your life. That's how lucky I was. Monday, I'll be back at Hamburger Central tinkering with the quarter pounder bun, which is slightly off track. <laughs> we'll get it back. And I will make a prediction. I'm gonna give you a free one. Chicago 2016 will house and host the Summer Olympics. <laughs> and that's because Mayor Richard Daley, rich, Young Rich, the way he operates, there's no limit to what a man can do if he doesn't care who gets the credit. And that's this guy. He's the best mayor in urban North America. Chicago Tribune, the Sun-Times don't know it, but everybody else in town does. <laughs> so thank you for this honor.